naive 17 year old. I'd got a few friends together, I'd written this simple song, and we just made a loud racket and had a lot of fun. Back in my teens, I had a very different idea of where I wanted my life to go. I was studying film and media, hoping to one day become a film director. However, while doing my A-levels, I'd caught the music bug. I was 17 years old, I'd picked up the guitar, and I was immersing myself in everything rock music. This passion even came with me into the classroom, at one point writing an essay about how the British punk rock scene of the 1970s represented social issues of the time. Indeed, later on that year, I had to work on my final project. But this project couldn't be about a scene that existed 50 years ago. It had to be something current, something relevant to today. As a teenager, you can develop very passionate feelings for things, and I was no different. A rock band that I was heavily into at the time was Paramore, and I especially loved how their early stuff had all this energy and drama to it, but all wrapped up within a, in a package of really catchy songs that you could scream out at the top of your voice. Riot and Brand New Eyes especially were albums that I loved back then and still love to this day. But the self-titled and the stuff that came afterwards, for me personally, it's not my bag. But you see, as an adult, I can simply say that and separate myself from it. I can accept that me and the band have divergent tastes, and that's okay. I wouldn't begrudge the band for it. As a naive 17-year-old, however, I didn't quite have the same maturity. Not only did I feel like the band had sold out, but it ended up making me want to go on this whole rant about the entire pop-punk genre, how this was a watered-down bastardization of what true punk rock music is supposed to be. Of course, I had this media studies project coming up, and so suddenly it was simply right, almost, to make this project about pop-punk music. And indeed, writing this essay then gave birth to the song Concentrating the Dosage. As part of this final media project, I actually wrote a punk rock song and created this whole music video. One that was supposed to encapsulate the true energy and spirit of what punk rock music should be. It's strange, isn't it, that kind of by accident, Concentrating the Dosage was not only the first thing that I ever recorded, but in a way it was the first small step towards who I am today and the art that I am pursuing now. Looking back on the song now, I'm under no false illusions of what it is. It is ramshackle, and it is rough around the edges to say the least, but I do feel it does capture some of that punk rock spirit, but not in its lyrics or in its musical content. You see, that British punk rock scene that I alluded to earlier, it wasn't just a reaction against the political dramas of the time, it was also a reaction against where these people felt rock music had come to in the mid-70s. Yes, you had progressive rock, but some of the biggest rock bands in general were kind of dressing up in these frilly outfits and delivering these huge 10-minute guitar or keyboard solos. It had kind of strayed away from the roots that had made rock and roll in the 1950s so great, and the punk rockers wanted to get back to just... These inexperienced guys in a room making a loud noise and writing short two to three minute songs that very quickly got to the point of what they were trying to address. That is the spirit that I feel concentrating the dosage taps into. Here I am, this naive 17 year old who's barely been playing guitar for six months, but I'd got a few friends together, I'd written this simple song and we just made a loud racket and had a lot of fun creating something that was truthful to us and that I felt had meaning. You say you'll start a riot, but you're acting very quiet. Your diluted dream is a management scheme. Your suburban lives causing you strife. Why act so oppressive? Can't you take a simple message? Do they cut their wrists and say they can't go on like this? I don't see how it helps for them to hurt themselves. 
It seems a bit pathetic and quite melodramatic. Their lives go to waste. It seems they don't know their place. Shut up! Shut up! The whole idea has become corrupt now. Shut up! Shut up! If I hold up a mirror, will you see any clearer? Your physical pain is driving me insane. You say you can't go on? That seems kind of wrong. The grief you tell is depressing me to hell.